Well, happy Easter, everyone. It's Easter weekend here. I just want to show you what's lurking underneath these tea towels here that my daughter has made and is selling this weekend. Merry Christmas. Um, look at these. Oh my goodness. But look how pretty those are because they're so easily accessible in my household. I better go ahead and work out before I am tempted to eat another one of these beauties. All right, let's hit it. Well, good morning, everyone, and happy Easter weekend to all of you. It's Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness. All right, as you saw, there are treats aplenty in my house this weekend, and so my goal is to make today's workout nice and quick, high intensity. Okay, we're gonna do a compound workout, so lots of muscles, lots of joints, everything participating at once, including cardio and abs. We'll throw those in there as well. This kind of workout is great bang for your buck. So if you want to get a nice quick little workout in, but that's high intensity, it's going to burn a lot of calories and make you feel amazing so that you can indulge in all the fun treats that Easter has to offer, then go ahead and do this workout with me. Hey, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. The button's just down below. And while you're down there, take a look at the show notes. Everything, uh, including this workout for today, is listed down below there. So if you want to do this at a later date, it's written down below and you can do that. All right, I'm excited to do this workout today. Hey, for the month of April, in Kelowna, in my hometown here, we're actually having this challenge called the Knox Mountain Challenge. And we're encouraging people to go up to our local mountain and hike it as often as possible, try to get the fastest time they can and the largest margin of improve, the largest margin of improvement. There we go. So if you want to do that in your hometown, wherever you live too, pick a mountain, pick uh, you know, a hill, whatever is available, and commit to going out to that place and timing yourself for the month of April. See if you can improve. Uh, it gives you something to work towards, and it makes all of these workouts that we're doing kind of pr prove themselves, show, show your body off and show you what you can do. All right, so that's my encouragement for you. Let's get started. Make sure that you have a variety of weights for today's workout. Grab your water, BCAAs, towel, whatever else you might need, and let's get started right now. We're starting off with a reverse lunge, add bicep curl, nice and tall, shoulders back. As you descend, you're curling. Ready? Let's do it. Alternating legs, right there. Hey, incidentally, if you're interested in longer workouts, check the playlist right at the card at the top of the screen here. That's my whole playlist of hour or longer workouts. So this one's gonna be a little shorter today, but if you want to go and hit a long one, Feel free to click on that list, take a look, and uh, maybe save a few of them to your playlist so that you can do them another time. All right, little rest there, good. We're gonna do a wide plie squat overhead press. So super tall, shoulders back, ready? Let's do it, and up, that's it. So compound exercises, certainly gonna get our heart rates up, and uh, Again, using lots of muscles, lots of joints. So that's an amazing bang for your buck. Already my heart is pounding. 10 seconds left. Good. In three, two, and time. Set one weight down. We're gonna do a side lunge to a lateral raise. All right, 30 seconds aside. Here we go. Low and up to 90 degrees. Good, keep a nice flat back here. Reach your hips back and then power them forward. Just like that. Stick your chest out, flat back. In three, two, and time, that's it. Whew. Catch your breath, switching sides. Lunge, lateral, in three, two, let's go. And up. Moving back to that reverse lunge with the bicep curl. Now on round two, you can determine if you want heavier weights or not. I'm gonna stick with these eights right now. That felt good. 
in three, two, and time. All right. Reverse lunge at bicep curl, coming up. Shoulders back, and here we go. That 10 second transition is not long, is it? Kinda just gotta get going. Well, we'll do three rounds, then I'll give you a little break. You can grab water, let your heart rate come down a bit, pause the video if you need. Stay tall here. In four, three, two, time. All right, plie overhead press. Take it wide, weights up, and here we go. Low press. Drop your glutes here, low. Squeeze them at the top. Halfway through. This will move by nice and quick though for us. That's the good part. All right, set one down. Side lunge. Ready and drop. Hips back, lateral raise. Now, if you haven't done this exercise in a while, you might want to just come to your knee right here, right? It's a deep bend for the groin there. And uh, yeah, if you haven't done it in a while, you're probably going to be really sore there if you go all the way to the ground like I am here. One more. All right, and switch. Whew, yeah, heart's ticking already, that's for sure. You're ready, and start. Good, reach those hips back, and down. This leg is still squatting, okay? Halfway. In four. Three, two, time. One more round. Okay, reverse lunge, head bicep. In three, two, start. Keep it a little bit more shallow here. All right, don't stretch that back leg so far back. Keep your body upright. Then I go right down to the ground here. Do what you can. Don't swing at the bottom. All right, plie overhead. Shake that out. Take it wide. Weights up. Here we go. I'm 
not gonna lie, my heart rate is right up there. That's good. Again, if we were just doing the lunge, or just the squat, or the reverse lunge with no arms, your heart wouldn't have to work as hard, right? The fact that it's gonna pump blood faster to those extremities means it's using more energy to do so. Burning more calories, getting more fit. Okay, grab a drink, join me back. Grabbing some lighter weights, our first exercise is gonna be a reverse lunge, high kick, center, one, two, three punch, and then alternating legs, all right? Then I'm gonna to switch to my little heavier weights, eight pounds for the next two exercises. Okay, ready? Here we go. So reverse, high kick, center, one, two, three, switch. Reverse, high kick, one, two, three, low kick. your core tight when you're punching. Last five seconds. Kick, one, two, three, reverse, kick. All right, good. Switching to my eights here. Rows and flies, hinge forward at the waist. Row, reverse fly. Ready, up, and fly. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and try not to bob the body here. Moving into a double dumbbell squat and press coming up. I'm gonna hold the same weight. Last 10 seconds here. Three, two, and time. All right, feet are wider than shoulder width. You're squatting in the center. Flipping to 90 degrees, pressing overhead. Ready? Here we go. Low, flip, press. Halfway. Good, going back to that reverse lunge, center punch. I'll keep the heavier weights in my hands this time. Last one here. Good. Okay, reverse lunge, center punch. Reverse lunge, high kick, center punch rather. Ready? Let's do it. So reverse, kick, one, two, three. Reverse. Yeah, it's fine with the eights for me. Just gotta keep your abs tight. Three, two, and one. All right, rows and flies. In four, three, two, and start. Rounded arms on that fly, straight arms on the row. Well, straight arms bend elbow, you know. Five seconds. In three, two, one more here. Ah, good. Okay, double dumbbell. A little wider than shoulder width, shoulders back. Three, two, and start. Low, flip, press. Halfway. That's it, almost there in four, three, two, and time. Okay, last round. Reverse lunge, center kick. Here we go. And low, up, one, two, three. Low, up, two, three. 
Oh, I forgot the high kick. Low, high kick. Good. Three, two, and time. Okay, that's it. Move into the row and fly. Shoulders back. In three, two, here we go. Last 10 seconds. And the last one there. Good. Okay, squat and flip. Take it wide. In three, two, low. Flip, press. Single side of press. Get ready in three, two, and here we go. Low and press. All right, you are doing the same side for 30 seconds, okay? So we should be able to fatigue that out a little bit. If we are lucky, it's just luck, right? Not hard work? Just kidding, a lot of hard work. All right, halfway through the side. Feel free to counterbalance with your arm out or put it on your hip, doesn't matter. Whatever works for you. In three, two, and time. Whew, yep, that fatigues it. Switching sides. Okay. Ready? Three, two, and drop it low. A lot of lunges, a lot of squats in today's workout. It's the name of the game here. All right. And a lot of shoulders too. But again, quick, fast, 30 minutes. Can't complain about that. Whew, halfway. Almost there in three, two, and time. All right, switching to lighter weights. Squat, valley press. So you're gonna squat low here, press out in front. Ready? Here we go. Low, front press. Keep your core tight. And don't go too heavy, because you'll round in those shoulders if you do. Press. Elbows come back, push them out in front. Halfway. Getting down on the ground for a princess sit up next. I'm gonna keep one weight with me. Three, two, time. All right, 30 seconds per side. One leg straight. Dumbbell comes above the head, touch your foot. Ready? Here we go. 30 seconds aside here. You can eliminate the weight if you need. That's fine. Good, 10 more seconds aside. A little rest down here, and then we'll switch sides. All right, take a breather, switch sides. Ready? Three, two, and all the way up. Back to that single side. Press in the split squat. Four, three, two, 
time. All right, moving quickly. I'm gonna grab my eight. Split squat, overhead press. In three, two, drop and press. Little side view for you. Show you how low that back knee is getting. Elbow stays close to the body and you press straight to the ceiling here. Halfway. Push through the heel of that front foot. Whew, burden leg. Three, two, time. Excellent. Switch sides, switch arms. In three, two, go. Up. Squat valley press is coming up. for me. How about you? You digging it? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, once you've done the workout. Let me know what your favorite exercise was and your hardest exercise. I'd love to hear. All right, princess sit up. Let's go down. One leg is straight, knee bent, and up we come. Anyone else 
Let's have a hopping, clicking hip when you do this exercise. I'm surprised you can't hear mine. It's very loud. And rest. It's clicking's okay, popping's okay as long as it doesn't hurt, right? If it hurts, you stop. Switch sides and start. curtsy lunge with an oblique crunch. I'm gonna hold a heavy weight on the one side. We're gonna do 30 seconds of side on that guy. Then we're heading down to the ground. You're gonna do a boat pose with a shoulder press. So maybe grab an eight or a five for that. And then we'll stay down there with, for a chest press into a tricep overhead extension with a leg lift. So much going on, so little time. Let's get started. All right, going for that curtsy lunge. Weight is in one hand, you're curtsying, crunching on one side, ready? So 30 seconds here, I'm up, I crunch, up and crunch. So I wanna hit those obliques a little bit right here. So I bend towards, elbow towards the knee here, okay? And up. This is a little tippy, so feel free to eliminate that weight if you don't feel comfortable, okay? 10 more seconds here. Up. And four, three, two, and time, not bad. The weight actually helps counterbalance, in my opinion. So I like it. Switching sides, switching hands in three, two, curtsy, and up. This one might be a little harder for me. You see? Halfway, and heading to the ground, remember. Both pose. Shoulder press. Four, three, two, time. Okay, keep those heavy weights close. I'm gonna go with an eight. You're rocking the hips, pressing straight up. Ready? Rock back, push. We're doing 15 seconds aside here. I'll tell you when to switch. You could support your head with your hands right here. If need be, all right? All right, switch hands and press. Round your back, okay? So you're rocking, not dropping. Last five seconds. All right, good. Go ahead and grab those heavy dumbbells. Figure in the ceiling. You're gonna chest press, tricep, and leg lift. Here we go, so press, leg lift, tricep, down, press, leg lift, tricep, down. Pick up your pace if you can. A lot going on here. Keep your abs engaged so you don't strain your back. Good. All right, round two. Here's the oblique. Grab your heavy weight. In three, two, here we go. Low. Let's see. This side feels really easy for me. The other side, my hip is tight. Sometimes that happens, just makes me go, okay, gotta focus on rolling that other side a little bit more, stretching it out. Five seconds here. All right, good, switch sides. Whew, get your breath. Let's work. Get ready in four, three, two. Here we go. Curtsy, crunch. Whew. 
Five seconds. Last one here. All right. Boat pose. Get those heavy dumbbells close as well. Ready? Three, two, here we go. And press. Elbow comes down to the floor. And then press the ceiling. One more this side. All right, sit your hands. Time. All right, grab your heavy dumbbells. Chest press, tricep, leg extension. In three, two, here we go. you're doing the tricep, legs go down. You could do a single leg down, okay, like this. And then alternate, down, other side. Okay, that's an option if your back is feeling this. All right, last round. Whew. And you're done the compound workout. Go celebrate. Okay, here we go. If you do, if you don't, celebrate the fact that you're fit and that you just finished this workout. That's it. Ten seconds here. This one's the hardest for me of this round. Especially adding that heavy weight here. Okay, time. Glad it's only 30 seconds. 45 as we normally do would be hard here, hey? Okay, ready? Here we go. Whoa. Crunch. Halfway. Push through the heel. Straight back up. Drive. That's it. Almost there, guys. In five, four, three, two, and time. Okay, grab your heavy weights close. Get the medium weight for the boat pose. Heart rate is up. Here we go. Remember? Hand can go behind the head for slight support if we need. Switch sides and press. Almost there. In four, three, two. All right, the last exercise, the last 30 seconds of work. Chest press, leg extension, tricep. Ready? Let's do it. Up. Everything is down. Everything is up. And they'll knock out the five and almost dying at the fifth. But if I said they had ten more, the fifth rep wouldn't be so hard, would it? So it's weird that way. I don't know why that, that mind works that way, but I think if we put a limit on it, then uh, you just think, you know what, that's all I got. 
But if there is no limit and you have to, uh, you know, push past it, I think you muster up a little bit more energy as you go along. Actually, I had a client once who, um, sit up, butterfly stretch, who didn't like it when I counted backwards. And I always count backwards. So I'll count the first couple of reps and then as I go along, I go ahead and count backwards. And she said, I don't want you to count backwards for me because um, it makes me feel like if I had more in the tank, then I couldn't do it, or that I can't do it. But if I have more in the tank, I want to be able to go past that rep range. So it was a very hard transition for me because I always count backwards. And in my, it's just like by rote, I just automatically just count backwards. But she didn't like that, so I had to switch. <sighs> feel good. Hope you guys feel good too. Let's round through the back a little bit here. I am very sweaty from that quick little 30 minute jaunt. See, again, that is just truth that those compound exercises give you a lot of bang for your buck, right? So I know a lot of people ask, how many calories did this workout burn? And again, typically speaking, you burn 100 calories for every 10 minutes of work. So if this is a 30 minute workout, ergo 300 calories. But again, it does d depend on the intensity with which you push. The weights that you're lifting so if I was lifting even 15s for every exercise you're gonna burn more calories because you're utilizing more energy to push said weight right so unless you're wearing a very accurate monitor and even even those sometimes are not super accurate um, you can guesstimate on a hundred calories for every 10 minutes of work okay so we do one hour workout 600 calories I would say anywhere between 500 and 700, depending on your intensity, depending on what you're doing, right? So it's a good way to measure it. All right, last stretch, up and over, stretch that torso, give that wrist a little roll here. <sighs> Excellent, and switch sides, up and over, wrist roll. Thanks for joining me again. Hey, again, if you're new, I know we are new, a new thousand people in the last month and a half, so I know there's a lot of new people who have joined, and I thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoy these workouts. I'm guessing you do, since that's why you subscribed, and uh, I hope that you'll leave a comment below and let us know where you're from and uh, what kind of workouts you like to see more of. All right, if you like this quick, fast-paced workout and you want to see more like this or do more like this, for the rest of this Easter weekend, go ahead and click or tap the screen right here or right here for more like that. All right, have a wonderful holiday weekend if you're celebrating. If not, enjoy your fitness in your life and I will talk to you in the next video. Go and move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition.